Hello and welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Today we're going to be looking at another feature in Photoshop which I use a lot for my sublimation designs and sublimation printing and that's going to be guidelines. So to start with we'll open up Photoshop and we'll be doing this on let's do it on some mug paper. And City Ink Express mug paper is 240ml wide 100 mil high and going back to the other video that you may have seen we definitely want that at 300 dots per inch but I will save this as mug paper and saving that just lets us get back to it next time if we do decide to do another design on mug paper click OK now we have the area where we'll be working now the uh, the advantage to using this specific mug paper as opposed to fitting the designs onto an A4 sheet is that it does enable you to get a full wrap around the mug handle to handle and from the very top to the very bottom. If you put them onto A3, A4 sheets sorry, then they will be around one and a half centimetres away from the handle on each side. That's not quite as good if you're doing it on A4. So back to the uh, reason for the video. We've got the guidelines that I tend to use and we'll enable the rulers by going view rulers and that just gives us these uh, centimetre markings on the left and the top. And then we've got two ways of doing this. For a guideline we can either drag down from the top and place it onto the page like so which is uh, absolutely fine, but not the most accurate in the world. So we'll just remove that one quickly. Or we can click New Guide. And we'll have a horizontal at the 5 centimeter mark, so the very, very middle of our mug. And all these lines do is they enable us to position the different elements of our mug more accurately and more reliably so that they will always end up in exactly the right place. Now these markings do not print out on the finished product, they are just a guide for when you're designing it. So when you go to print those will not show up at all. I'll add some other guides in. So for example I know that my print doesn't work very well on the very left of the page. or the very right. So we'll just add in a half a centimetre margin that we don't want to print inside this area because it may not transfer properly on the final mug and we don't want to be wasting mugs and throwing stock away. And we'll do the same on the top because my press is not the best in the world and it doesn't really sublimate very well at the very top or again the very bottom of the page. So now we have this outline, we don't want to be printing inside that area, we know that, and this one along the very middle of our mug, so we know exactly where we can position our items, they'll be halfway up the mug. I'll also add in three more guides, and they will be one at 12 centimetres, so directly opposite the handle. One at uh, 5.7 centimetres. And one at 18.3 centimetres. Now what these are, this is opposite the handle. This is on one of the faces of the mug, so a quarter way round from the handle. And this is opposite that, so another quarter way round. So the one on the right, as we're looking at it now, will be facing the person holding the mug if they are right-handed, and the one on the left will be facing away from them. So normally I would have the text on the right here, so facing the person holding the mug, let's say if it's a text and an image and have the image on the left here. 
So the next feature about guides, which I do really like, I will show you now. Let's find a picture in case you forgot whose video it was. It's ours. I just copied that and we'll paste it in here. Now, as you're dragging these around, you may notice it tends to snap to our guidelines. So if we want it directly on here, then as we drag it around, you might be able to see that it has snapped to this very center here. So I said the image on the left, didn't I? Sorry. There you go. That's stuck there. So now when we print this, that image, that logo, will be facing away from whoever's holding the mug. And we can do the same with text. If we include some text here, uh, it might be a little large. Uh, let's, do, uh, let's try sublimation. Yeah, it's a bit big. I'll just make that a little smaller. Maybe half the size. And then when we move it into position, we can either have it sat on top of the line or dead center with it, or we could have it below it. Generally, if it's just the one word, I'll have it slightly above center, so just resting on the center line there. And then Obviously, in Photoshop, all this text is editable as well. So if we did want to change that to City Ink, for example, then we could do that as well. Or if we wanted various different people's names, we could just edit it once for each. And with other programs such as Microsoft Paint, which some people use, then the text is not editable. You don't have to delete it and then try and get it back into the same place because it can't use guidelines. But uh, yeah, so that's one of my favorite settings in Photoshop, just for a very reliable way of getting your mugs to come out perfect every time. And so all that we'll do now is I will delete all of these layers that we've added, we'll delete the text, we'll delete the picture, yes. And now we'll save this. And we will call it our mug template. So next time we come to design a mug, we can just open up this template straight away. All of the guidelines will be there in the right place, which will save us a tremendous amount of time over the lifetime of the, uh, of the design. Thank you very much.